I'm Melissa Bruner in the WIBW Digital News Center with a quick check on your Friday afternoon headlines. And we start with some traffic alerts you'll want to know for your drive around town. You could be running into some ramp closures along I-70 through Topeka on Saturday. KDOT will temporarily close on ramps and off ramps between Wanamaker and McVicker. Crews will start their work around 6 a.m. Saturday. Each closure will last less than an hour. They'll start with the westbound side with the ramps at McVicker, work toward Wanamaker, and then they will come back east toward McVicker on that eastbound side. The work is part of KDOT's resurfacing project along I-70. By the way, KDOT also told us today that a complete closure of eastbound I-70 through downtown Topeka that was planned for next weekend is now delayed until November 8th through 10th. That is due to a delay in delivering materials. And of course, all of that is weather dependent as well. Also an update for you today for construction work along South Topeka Boulevard in Topeka. This is the area that we're talking about. The city said it reopened Friday to one lane traffic between Southwest 21st and 29th. However, it is local and business access only, and you'll need to get there from 29th Street. The intersection at 21st and Topeka remains closed, as does the cross access from 27th Street. Crews are finishing water line and pavement reconstruction work in that area area. The Topeka City Council will be holding a special meeting to discuss its next police chief. That meeting was announced Friday, taking place November 7th, which is the day after the city plans to host a public meet and greet with the yet to be named finalist for the position. According to the agenda, this will be a closed door session involving the governing body, city manager Robert Perez, city attorney Amanda Stanley and anyone else the governing body invites to participate. Perez previously told 13 News the city received 18 applications for the position. They hope to narrow that to four or five finalists who would then take part in that November 6th public event, as well as interviews with the governing body and with community and law enforcement panels. And the University of Kansas gave us, the media, a look today at the improvements and renovations they made to Allen Fieldhouse. Watch for that on 13 News and on WIBW.com.